to show you how to make a hydraulic hose up for your tractor or your front end loader using what they call fill replaceable fittings. These are fittings that uh, you can add onto the pipes yourself and uh, yeah, it, this overall works out much cheaper than buying a pre-made hose. Pre-made crimp hoses, they're great um, but they're fairly expensive. So this short hose here, distance from there to there is only about um, 40 centimeters or you know, a foot and a third. To make this hose up um, commercially with a with a crimp fitting it cost me about $120 in Australia. Um, but uh, to do this here, uh, if I could still get this pipe, which sadly I can't, they don't make it anymore in this outer diameter. It's half inch inner diameter but the outside diameter you can't get anymore certainly not in Australia anyway because otherwise this hose would cost me five dollars because I can reuse these fittings but um, I'm having to buy new ones which suits uh, a pipe with a thinner outer diameter but it still works out cheaper so this one end is about seventeen dollars so we got two seventeens which is about thirty six and that's about five dollars worth of hose so instead of a hundred and ten hundred and twenty dollars we can make up a hose for about forty brand new and uh, the beauty of it is once we've replaced these fittings they're reusable so if you do happen to burst another hose then this hose uh, well the modern equivalent of it works out at about uh, if you can get it about twelve bucks a meter um, depending on where you go. I've seen it also for $36 a metre or more, but um, but retail from a decent tractor place, um, even in Tassie where they charge you more for everything because of freight, um, I'm getting it for 12 bucks a metre. So here's the new hose. Um, so as you can see, it's a, it's a lot thinner outside diameter than the old one. Obviously there's been some advances in material science and there's the uh, the new fittings that suit it next to it. So first of all what we're going to do is just mark out where we uh, where we need to cut the hose and then we'll need to cut it with an angle grinder. Smells lovely. So here we are now they're cut. What we might do is just uh, mark on the hose roughly where this uh, ferrule will go to just so we know how much uh, further we've got to go as we uh, run down. I'm using a bit of engineer's chalk here which I haven't bothered to split um, which isn't working very well. A white pen would be better or maybe just some plain chalk but anyway just any kind of mark just to give you a bit of a guide screwing this in. So we start by putting our new bit of pipe in a vise firmly but not too tightly and then we pop our ferrule on. Now here's the first bit of special sauce. This is a left hand thread, it's not a right hand thread. So instead of left, lefty loosey righty tighty, it's lefty tighty. So we start by beginning to screw this on. I guess I should show you inside these ferrules uh, is that the way they work is this is the inner piece which fits down into the pipe and screws into the ferrule. And the other end of the ferrule, this outside piece, ferrule, ferrule, um, has got a really big coarse left-handed thread in it and that's what grips into this grips into this pipe. So we get ourselves a shifter and we just oh, screw it down. As you can see it's biting in and I said the oops, hard to do this while holding a camera. 
Um, the right, the mark just down there gives you an idea of where we want to go. So we want to go down to about 100. So there we go. We've gotten that all the way down. Those twisted a little bit, so it's just at the front of that 100. So this is the second... Get my thumb out of the way. Sorry about this. Um, this is the second trick. So you screw it all the way down. And once you get down to it's all the way down, let it off half a turn. need to tighten that up a touch. So take it back, again remember it's left hand thread, just half a turn. This will make it easier when you put the ferrule in, oh, sorry, make it easier for the ferrule when you uh, put the insert in. So that'll, uh, it'll, otherwise it's much much harder to put in for no extra gain. So now that that's done, so you've screwed that all the way in and you've backed it off half a turn, we want to add our fitting in. The other tip is to add some, put some oil in there to lubricate it. So a little hydraulic oil, or in this case I'm cheating and just using a little bit of lanolin. Just to uh, make it much easier to put in. And then... This is a normal right hand thread. And screw it in. And obviously, as you can see, it's a tapered interference fit that goes up into the pipe and makes a, uh, makes a seal. In a way that you can actually change it if it uh, if you damage your hose or it bursts. So these field fitting, you definitely find it on marine stuff and you also find them on farm equipment where you could be out in the middle of nowhere and you need to uh, fix a hydraulic pipe, fix a hydraulic hose. And obviously you can just, uh, as it starts to get harder or beforehand, pop the uh, ferrule in the vise itself so you can do it up. So it's quite firm at this point, but it's not it's not ridiculous. So there you have it. So that's a uh, field replaceable hydraulic fitting. That's all you need to do to put them on. Uh, obviously just got to do the other end now. And uh, these are available in all sorts of different threads. Uh, this old tractor, it's an old Massey Ferguson front end loader. Um, it's, uh, it's strange, it's a mixture of threads, but this one's JIC. Uh, BSP is another common one. Uh, and this one's also got some O and F on it as well, so it's a whole mix of threads. Funnily enough, for whatever strange reason, back in the 60s, free spirits. Um, so yeah, so that's how you have to do it. So it's a really good way to do it. Even his here, um, if you do a hose, it'll be half the price of going to a professional place to get it changed. Uh, and then if it blows again, uh, once you've got modern fittings on there, modern replaceable fittings, um, you're only going to be paying for the hose because this now is certainly a standard size pipe that isn't changing anytime soon. So, um... So yeah, so the next time I, if I blow this hose again, instead of it costing me this time uh, about 40 bucks, it'll cost me about 5 bucks to fix. Which again, compares to um, $120 for a new hose to be professionally made up. But, as I mentioned before in the different costs of uh, the hose, shop around. These fittings, um, I got these from two shops just to try different, two different kinds out. One was, as I said, was about $17 a set. I think the other was about $15 a set. But I went to some other shops and this um, was like 50 bucks. And similarly, the hose, I'm paying $12 a metre for hose. Another shop, $36 a metre for hose. So shop around. So there you go. There's the finished hose. Um, so two JIC females on either end. 
um, ready to replace the uh, ready to replace the old one. So, sorry, I'm running out of light here, <laughs> but uh, there you go. So anyway, so um, come back in the light so you can see what's going on. Uh, so remember, yeah, um, the ferrule's a left-hand thread. Back them off half a thread before you go, and then add some lubricant um, when you put the fitting into the ferrule. Uh, and the last tip, shop around. Big difference in prices depending on where you go. So anyway, I hope that is helpful, and uh, thanks for watching.